This cancel calls her bullshit. <laughs> Just was watching the news. Uh, this chick is uh, apparently from Michigan. She's the wife of some football. I don't know her name. I couldn't remember it. But as soon as I heard what happened, it just I was furious. I was pissed. She basically came out, said something about uh, you know Michigan being a dictatorship or, or dictatorship type stuff, telling them small businesses they have to shut down. You know, while of course Walmart, Amazon, and all that shit don't have to shut down, they're gonna make all the money that the small business people can't make. And the media mob apparently. Uh, got on her shit about it and she retracted her statement that you y'all can't fucking do if you're gonna have the balls to say something and post it then you better have the fucking balls to stick behind what the hell you just said because that's that's what they want they want to know that they can say oh hey you can't say that you're the wife of a football star blah 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 blah, blah. so the fuck what I care if I'm goddamn god if I feel something, I want to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm not going to back the hell down. This whole virus is horseshit. This whole shutdown is horseshit. It's all politically motivated. That's all it is. We ain't shut down because of the, the flu, the SARS, the AIDS, the any any freaking other sickness out there that's been killing people in way more numbers than this damn coronavirus ever has. We ain't shut the fucking world down for that. Use your brains, people. Use your brains. Is there a bug out there that's making people sick? Yeah, there is. There absolutely is. But there's been bugs out there making people sick all along. No one's ever shut the world down because of that. No one's ever crashed the fucking economy because of some super bugs out there killing people. But it's not killing everybody, y'all. It's not. If you're healthy, you're going to be all right. You're, you're going you're gonna to get sick. You're going to go through about a couple weeks of hell. But you're going to be all right. You're going you're gonna to beat it. But man, stop. Y'all need to knock this shit off, man. Y'all are giving them every freaking thing they want. Yes, I'm a conservative. Yes, I'm a Republican. Yes, I voted for Donald Trump. And if y'all don't like that, then fuck you. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I have the right to do whatever the hell I goddamn well please in this goddamn country. And you cancel culture motherfuckers ain't going to stop me. I'll say what I want. I'll do what I want. And I'll do it when the hell I want to do it. Pisses me off. Man. I just, whew. Y'all need to stand up for yourselves. Y'all need to stand. I don't care who you are. You come out, you post a video, you stand behind that video. Otherwise, you got no right posting a damn video. None at all. No right. If I get on here and I'm talking shit, it's because that's how I feel. And I'm allowed to say how I feel. You're not allowed to cancel me because of that. But yet, all these these people are letting y'all do it. They're letting they're letting cancel culture take over. Cancel culture, letting it take over. God damn. No, dude. No. Uh-uh. No, y'all can't do that. Y'all got to stand the hell up and, and stand behind what you say. It's like a, it's like a toddler, right? You, you give a little kid a piece of candy when they act bad. What are they going to do? They're going to associate that and go, oh, hey, we're, we act bad, we get candy. It's the same shit with these leftist retards. A little bumpy hole on there. Camera shaking. Uh, it's the same thing, all right? If they, they're able to shut you down once, they know they can do it. All they got to do is push, 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 push. So they finally shut you down again. That's what they want. That's what they want to learn. That's what they want to do. You can't let them do that. You can't let them do it. Don't cower and hide in the corner after you said something that, oh, I might have hurt someone's feelings. Fuck their feelings. Who cares? Hurt their feelings. Don't give a shit. Hurt their damn feelings. That's what they need. And it's their parents' fault for raising that goddamn idiot. Oh, here, little Johnny, it's okay. We're going to cut your wiener off because you feel like a girl. Man, fuck you. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Stupid. Goddamn people in this fucking Oh, my God. I'm not even going to edit this video. I'm going to post it just how it is. I don't care. Because I say what I want. I say how I feel. And I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I had a kid on one of my softball teams. Got upset with me because I made a, 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 a comment about something on uh hold on let me get my thoughts straight here oh so one of the coaches that were playing a home team one up was talking into the batter's ear like that trying to not let the other team hear him so of course i'm a jackass and i don't give a shit so i yell hey quit sniffing them kids biden 
<laughs> it was funny. Hilarious. Now the coach left. 99.9% .9 of the kids left. There was one kid that didn't laugh. I'm not going to name names. You know who she is. She's a sweet kid. Uh, I don't have no issues with her. Uh, even after this particular incident happened, I don't have no issues with her. Except for the sheer fact that you're just, you're not educated. If you're watching this video and you're the one that did this, then you need to understand. You need to educate yourself. Don't go by what the media says, girl. Don't go by what, you know, your little girlfriend over there says. Don't do that either. You know, you go your own way. You, you realize things for yourself. Anyway, kid comes over, she goes, Hey, coach, could you not do political jokes on the field? I said, what? She said, can you not make politically motivated jokes on the field? And I was like, I didn't say nothing to you. She was like, yeah, but you said it. I said, but I didn't say it to you. If I make a comment to you, then you have a right to tell me not to make that comment. I didn't make a comment to you. I made a comment to one of my friends who laughed about it. It was a joke, and we just had a good time. If that offends you, I'm sorry, but nothing I can do about it. If you're going to let something I say to somebody else offend you, then you're the problem. So she goes, I don't really want to make a big deal about it. I said, well, then sit down and don't make a big deal about it. I didn't say anything to you. I didn't say anything directed to you. I didn't even really say anything political. All I did was pick on a pedophile. Now, I'm sorry, he's a pedophile. He's a kitchen ever. That's what he is. He's a molester. He's someone who's just creepy. And it's all over. Even the fake news media are putting that shit out there. How he makes people feel uncomfortable by touching and sniffing and saying those weird things that that stupid fucking retarded old bat says. Excuse me. Anyway, that's that's another story in itself. But, uh, yeah, just stop it. Don't do it. All right? If you're going to look down between your legs, whether you're a girl or, or a guy, and you want to have the balls to post something, to, to go on a rant about something, then you make damn sure you have the balls to stand behind what you just said. Don't let these leftist fucking mob come in here and tell you, oh, you, you shouldn't have said that. You, you call Michigan a dictatorship. Well, you fucking are. You are. You're shutting down businesses and putting people out of business. People are losing their houses. Their 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 family can't feed their family. They can't, you know, losing vehicles and shit. All because of y'all are shutting it down before a fucking politically motivated virus. I don't want to hear it. I don't. I don't want to hear it. And y'all get on here and tell me I'm wrong. All you want. Oh, you're wrong. You're wrong. It, it kills people. Blah blah blah. blah. So what? Well, shut up. I don't care. You know how many things in this world killed people before this coronavirus came around? You know how many people? How many things in this world? wiped out people on a mass scale and the world didn't shut down because of it educate yourselves because there's a lot more all right you want to watch this fake news bullshit they'll, they'll tell you oh yeah coronavirus blah 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 we know we know of people one guy on his death certificate says coronavirus <laughs> what no it wasn't coronavirus it was lead poisoning stupid I mean it's just it's so ridiculous it is so ridiculous the way this media is doing things and yet you want us to turn around and trust you when you give us numbers you want us to trust the media saying oh there's so many the cases are spiking the cases are spiking uh no they're gonna Oh, we need to get rid of this. You're never going to get rid of it. You're never you've never gotten rid of the flu. That's what coronavirus is. It's a it's a mutated version of the flu. It's the same symptoms, flu symptoms, same shit. It mutates, it does a, I mean I'm not a fucking doctor and I don't know exactly what the difference is, but you know, it's the same shit. It's basically a flu virus. It's a virus. It's never going nowhere. You're never going to get rid of it. You're going to catch it, you're going to build an immunity to it, and then it's going to mutate, and then you're going to have to catch it again and build another immunity to that, to that strand. It's just the way it's going to have to be. You can't just shut down in your house and, and lock down and hope it goes away. It's not going away. We've been wearing masks for eight fucking months now, and guess what? Now it's spiking up. How come it's spiking up? How? How is it spiking up when we're all wearing masks? Oh, well, be, because people are being assholes and not wearing their fucking mask. If I don't wear a mask, I can't go in the store. Don't, don't tell me it's because people ain't wearing their mask. Everyone's wearing, I go to work and I have to wear my mask or I'm going to lose my job. It's stupid. I hate it. But I have to wear it, so I have to do it. The mask don't work. All right? If I 
fucking stand behind you and I fart and you can smell it through that damn mask, which I guarantee you any mask you put on, you will smell that nasty fucking shit. You'll smell it. If that's the case, then it's not stopping the fucking virus from coming through and hitting you. Point number two, what are these? Eyes. Are, are your fucking eyes masked up? Oh, you don't want to breathe it in because you don't want to get into your system. It can get into your eyes too. If I got AIDS and I whack right in your fucking eye, guess what you got now? AIDS. You got it. All right, it's on your skin. You, you can't get away from it. You can't. It's just, yo, know, just stop being stupid. Stand up to these people. Stand up to these son of a bitches that are trying to shut you down. Don't let them do it. Don't. They come around and tell me I need to wear a mask in public. I'm gonna pull my pants down and shake my little ass wiener right at them. I don't care. Wear a mask in public. They're gonna try to make you wear a mask in your house. They can try to kiss my big white ass. It ain't happening. You can tell me that I can't come in your store without wearing a mask. That you can tell me. What you can't tell me is what I can and can't do with my property on my property. You're not gonna tell me I'm gonna have to wear a mask in my house. I'm giving shit what you say. I'm giving shit what mandate you come about. Nah, it's not happening. Shut up, retard. Oh man, I know I get on here and I, a lot of the time, it's, it's because of the times right now. This, this, this election we're going through, all the stupid shit we're dealing with. That's why some of these videos are just me ranting, but I mean, it needs to be said, it needs to be heard. Y'all need to share this with everybody. Let them hear it. You got a lefty friend that's a freaking leftist retard to give him the, share it. He's going to turn it in gonna probably get me shut off of YouTube but I, then I'll get on Rumble and I'll start shipping that shit out again I'm, you're not silencing me you're not shutting me down you're not shutting my family down these people are trying to tell the, the kids in school you know oh could you could you take your Trump flag down because it might offend somebody but then you got a little fucking bitch in the back wearing a Black Lives Matter mask no fuck you it's not happening you keep that goddamn Trump flag up you keep your fucking president you, you ugh, just stop letting people shut you down you gotta understand that there is way more of us than there is of them. Way more. That's why they want our guns. They want our damn guns because they know if shit breaks bad, we're gonna win. They know that. Oh, what do you mean? You took a bunch of jackass drunks? But yeah, well, we target shoot for fun. We go hunting. We stalk deer for four freaking days just to get one one deer. All right. We're people that you can throw something up in the air and we can look down, grab a gun, and boom, and hit it. That's who we are. You want to come up against that? I, I understand why they want to take our guns away from us. Because I know goddamn well that we are superior to any fucking military y'all ever going to have. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm getting a militia together and I'm rising up. But if that shit happens, I know what side I'm on. you absolutely goddamn right. I know what side I'm on. The government has just been shutting people down for so fucking long. Stand up for yourselves. They want to shut your small business down? Do whatever you can to stop it. Get on here and make a bunch of damn videos. Tell them, you know, oh, you're, you're killing us, you're killing us. Cause they're not going to care, but the more you get out there, the more you make it public, the more it's, it's going to potentially help you. But do not come on here, do not make comments, and then retract what you say all because of some media mob comes after you. Fuck, come after me. Come on. I can't wait. I can't wait, because all you idiots can do is run your damn face behind a fucking mouth, uh, uh, whatever the hell this is, what's monitor? Yeah, monitor. That's all y'all can do. Run your mouth behind that. You ain't going to come to my house. You're not going to see me outside somewhere and go, hey, tough ass, here you are. But I will. I will. Are you somebody on here, and you're watching this video, and you're mad, and you know where I'm at? Come see me. Come on. Uh, please do it. I ain't going to go run and grab a gun. I'll beat your ass with my bare hands. Because that's what it's going to get down to. You know, y'all want to talk tough shit behind a monitor. Y'all want to talk, oh, you guys just there and you're going to start a civil war. And we're not saying that. We're saying you don't want that. I'm not saying I'm going to go out here and start a civil war. What I'm saying is if a civil war starts, you guys are going to lose. Because a, a war is two people that are fighting together. Fighting. Each other. Y'all can't fight. You can't. You're going to show up with dildos and freaking pepper spray. And we're going to come in and be like, huh, big, Done. It's, it's stupid. The way y'all are trying to take this country right now, I mean, I understand that these colleges are teaching you fucking dumb liberals a bunch of dumb shit. Start using your damn head. Ain't shit in this country free. Nothing is free. Not one goddamn thing is free in this country. Anything you get, it was paid for by somebody. 
Somebody paid for it. All this damn free health care that the Democrats are promising you fuckers, we're paying for it. You, if you have a job, are paying for that. We're going to get rid of student debt. Yeah, but then they're going to jack your taxes up and you're still going to pay your student debt, you retard. You're just going to pay it in the form of tax now. Stupid asses. God damn. It's, it's just, oh, man, horrible. I, I don't know. This is horrible. But no, that's the, the, the whole point of this video is, is the cancel culture shit. Stop letting them silence you. Stop letting them. I mean, they're going to, obviously, they're going to shut down. They're going to do all that shit. So I guess they kind of can do that, but they can't shut you up. They can't take away your damn livelihood. They can't take away your way of living. They can't take away your only means of making something happen for your family and then shut you up at the same time. No, you get your ass out there. You run your mouth. You stand up. You protest. You you know, not, not the fucking looting shit. That's not what I'm saying. You peacefully protest. Don't go out there like these black Antifa motherfuckers trying to beat up the Trump supporters. Because, again, they didn't come through my area doing that because they know better. They know better. Yeah, I'm not saying violence. That's, that's, let's get that straight because some of y'all are going to get on here and try to give me a bunch of shit about it. I'm not saying go out there and be violent. Go out there and po protest peacefully. Peacefully. Stand there. Run your mouth. Don't go up there trying to beat people up and thinking you're a hot ass and all that shit. Just run your mouth. Make your voice heard. Because if enough of y'all do it, there's there's going to have to be something done about it. I mean, I know a lot of people get on here and they're talking shit. We should do this. We should do that. Well, you can talk all you want. You have to get out there and do it. You have to. I mean, I've been fortunate. My job hasn't shut down. So, I mean, but my old lady says she's been out of work. She's not making a shit ton of money like she used to. So, we're hurting. You don't see me going, oh... Let me own a fucking Democrat and hope they give me money. Fuck that shit. I'd rather die. I'd rather see everything I earn, earn own burn in the fucking ground before I ever rely on a Democrat for anything. Because they're not Americans. Some may be, but the radical left is not, they're not for America at all. All they want to do is just get you to bow down and do what they want you to do. And I'm going to tell you now, it ain't not happening with me. It will never happen with me. I will never do it. I would never do it, and I'll never raise my kids to do it either. And neither should you. Don't let cancel culture cancel you. Don't let your voice be silenced. Don't give in to this horseshit that they're trying to do. Speak your mind. Stand behind what you said. Because if you said it the first time, that's pretty sure that's that's what you mean. If I get on here and I'm like, yeah, these Democrats are retards. That's how I feel. They're retards. They're retarded. So... Just do that. Come on, man. Y'all need to stand up. Stand up. Don't let this cancel culture bullshit get a hold of you. Don't do it. Oh. And not a good way to start the day today. Not a good day at all. It's going to be rough. But I guess it is what it is. All right, y'all. I mean, just try to take a little bit of, of some of my rants are coming here. Try to take a little bit of it to heart. You know, understand that. Don't don't let these people shut you up. Don't let you if you you take your story to Fox News and they don't do it, find another news outlet. That you can't find another news outlet, post it on here. You can't find it on here, post it on Rumble. Post it, post it, post it, post it, and eventually you'll get your word out. I guarantee it. It's gonna happen. But that's all I got for y'all today. Hopefully y'all have a good weekend. Mine's starting off a little shitty, but I think we're gonna turn it around. All right, y'all. Take care.